Hey, welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about my accessories that I like to use for my Canon camcorders. Right now I'm filming with my R700, but here I have my M50, my previous camcorder which I'm about to sell. And one of the reasons I wanted to show you this is a lot of times, especially for myself, I'm filming myself. I don't have anybody to do it for me. And a lot of times you might be in tight situations. Right now I'm out in the woods and I, I like to use it for fishing a lot. And with a regular uh, camcorder just like you see right there, you can't get a real wide angle. You can see I have my arms out just a little bit. It doesn't really show a lot of the angle. And this is really good for inside of a house. Uh, you don't have a lot of room in the house if you want to film. It's hard to get yourself in the frame and anything else you're trying to show. And right now I have a Canon. It's called a wide converter HD hyphen H47. I'm sorry, H43 0 0.7 times. It's a 43 millimeter lens that you can screw on to the front of your camcorder. I'll go ahead and show you here. You have the lens cap on the front here and uh, threading right there. And all it's going to do is just screw onto the front here. And it just goes uh, clockwise. You screw it on, take off the lens cap. Now you have a wide converter. So all I'm going to do right now is just uh, as you're looking at me through the camera, you can see over here I have my arm extended to the left. And then right here I can barely extend this arm. You'll see the tree right here. I'm going to go ahead and screw this on so you can see just how much wider this will make my area. And like I said, it just screws on clockwise into the front here. Okay, there we go. So now, you can see how much wider we have. Before, I extended my arm to the right. Uh, now I have another two feet and there you had the tree before now it's way over and yeah, You can see how much farther and I'm only I'm gonna say about four and a half feet from the camcorder So as you extend back that angle is going to keep going wider and wider So now if I'm filming in a tight area, I can come in close and I'm still in frame Whereas before if I would have came in this close it probably cut me off right about here So it's really good if you're using uh, You're trying to even not even recording yourself, but just to try getting everything into the frame. Now you can see, you know, nice and wide and get everything in the frame. It doesn't distort it either. I know a lot of like wide angle camera, I also have like a DSLR, and if you put on a wide angle, it kind of uh, gives it like a curvature to it that kind of distorts the image and makes it look bigger than what it is. I still look normal on camera, hopefully. And you can see everything else around me. So, and it doesn't look distorted. You can see the trees are still straight. It's not flexing them at all. So just looking around here, like I said, before you might have an angle like this. Now it goes way out, way out to the sides. And like I said, I'm only basically an arm's length from the camera. Coming back here, I look a lot smaller granted, but now you can see everything within that frame. That way if I'm trying to show something a little bit wider, I like to use it for fishing. If you ever seen any of my other videos, I'm holding up a fish like that. I can get the full fish within the frame. So I'm also going to show you this in my house too, just so you can see like uh, what you might use it for inside of a home. And I like to use it in my living room. If I just use the camcorder straight uh, without the lens, you'll see what it looks like and then just to kind of show you. They are rather expensive. I think they're close to $300. I got mine off of eBay for $100. I got a really good deal. There's a small scratch just on the one side. Everything else is perfect. So can't be at a good bargain. Works great. And it's, like I said, any camcorder that's a 43 millimeter uh, front, it will just screw right on clockwise. And of course, just be careful. You know, don't want to scratch the lens. And it does come with a cap when you're done that way during transport you won't scratch any of the lenses also. It is a little bit heavier so I recommend using it for a tripod uh, just to hold it. It's fine but it's going to want to like tilt forward just because it is a little bit more heavier. 
It's probably heavier than the camcorder itself, just keep in mind. So you do want something that's going to be nice and stable. So let's go into my house now and uh, show you some more of this. Okay, time for the second part of the video. I just wanted to show how effective this is in the house. Again, just going over the uh, wide converter and any part of the house. Granted, my living room is a little bit larger, so if I needed to, I can just move the camcorder farther away. But let's say your room's only 10 by 10. Let's say you're in a small room, don't have a lot of area to work with. Then you're trying to get a lot of things within that frame. Right now, you can see each side almost of the couch. And then over here, Right now I'm probably like direct center, so I can put my arms as wide and I'm just making it to each side of the frame within the uh, camera here. I'm just going to go ahead and put on the uh, wide converter. Also just notice like how high my head is and then you can see my knees right now. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this on. And keep in mind, I'm only... I'm probably about four feet away from the camera again. Got a little bit more room now uh, from my head upwards. Now you can see the coffee table. Uh, my knees were right here, so now we got another half foot down. And then you can see how wide. I got a lot more room over here. You probably see another three foot on that side. And uh, probably like two and a half feet on this side. And that's only six feet away. Now if I'd keep going backwards, you'd see more and more. And again, I just wanted to show this at six foot away. And like I mentioned out in the woods, uh, your normal camera is going to have a certain depth field. And let's say it's an angle like that, and it'll just keep going out. Whereas the wide converter, not only do you have farther this way, but farther this way as well. That way, the farther back I push that camera, the, more, the higher you're going to see, the lower you're going to see, and also the more width. And again, the major factor I really like about this lens compared to like my other camera lens, it doesn't distort anything. It doesn't really make anything look outrageously large. It just gives a wider depth field. And like I said, this is great for indoors. And it's nice and uh, crisp and clear, you know, just like the camera itself. So you have a you know, good vision with it also. And comes with a cover just to keep it protected because it is rather expensive uh, considering the camcorder is only 200 the lens itself costs 300 but like I said I got it on eBay so if you uh, look hard enough you can get a good deal on eBay and hopefully be able to have the same features I do now other people there are a lot of other accessories for camcorder also microphones and all kinds of different things and I don't really get into a lot of that but if I ever do then maybe I'll do a review on that so far this lens, I've had it for two years now, and it's worked really well. I've done quite a few videos in my house, and for this primary reason, you know, I got that lens. I mean, you can see everything I got going on here, you know, nice, uh, you know, especially if I'm doing something that's a larger object. Let's say I'm showcasing, you know, whatever, and, you know, you, you don't want to just see like a narrow field here. You want to be able to see all around it and see what you're working with. So I hope you enjoyed uh, the video. Basically, I just want to kind of show the different uh, reasons you might want to get a wide converter lens, you know, when you're filming. And again, maybe later on I'll do a video where I show it farther away. But like I said, it's just the farther back I push the camera, the wider and wider you're going to be able to see. If I push this the whole way against the wall, you'll probably see my entire living room. And uh, it is a little bit of a mess off camera right now, so we're probably not going to do that. So uh, definitely need to clean up a little bit. But uh, you can see here, you get a pretty wide uh, range. And uh, before, if you do a comparison before and after in the video, you can see the difference. So thanks for watching my videos as always. If you have any uh, questions about the camera itself, I do have some other videos showing the features. And also, if you have a question about this lens in general, please ask, and I'd be glad to help you out. Thanks for watching. Thank you again for watching another one of my videos. You'll see two videos below showing you how to make corn on the left and oats pack bait on the right. If you enjoyed this video, there's plenty more on my channel. Please hit subscribe on the right side of the screen. And anytime a new video comes out, you'll be the first to see it.